Hi planner friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Nia. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you have not already um, subscribed to my channel, I would definitely appreciate it if you would do so. Today I am doing a budget with me. This is a mid-month check-in. So it is the middle of July and um, we're going to check in and see where we are for the month on bills and goals, cash envelopes, and sinking funds. So I create... Um, my budget in a couple of different places and for me the redundancy is helpful to keeping me on track I am still working on um, my my standard size getting it how I like it but I will show you um, what it's looking like right now I like having this bigger mirror of the smaller version the smaller one I take with me everywhere and so for um, the setup in here um, this is my monthly overview. This is a sticker kit from Shea Budgets on Etsy, and I'm probably going to continue to use her sticker kits for the next few months, even though I have my own because I had already purchased them. Um, this is also a tool that she offers. Um, it is a Canva printable, and so this I use as my monthly overview. I really like having that on the page before this notes page, which is still a work in progress. I haven't exactly decided what I wanna do with that, um, but these are stickers that are available in my shop in the Gin Plans handwritten font. Um, and so I changed out everything with her kit to the Gin Plans handwritten font, and you can get those in my shop as well, which is Studio Bliss Co. But um, this is a is a printable where you can just customize it in Canva to meet your needs. And so I changed the colors and um, moved some things around. And I've already got one that's kind of set up for August as well to make it how I wanted it to look. And so this is just like my July overview goals that I had. Just a bare bones basic um, overview of my budget and things that I plan to do this month uh, along with the savings goal. I have to figure out how to change the calendar so um, that's the one piece that I haven't done yet. Um, then again I haven't done this page yet and so um, this is still a work in progress how I want this notes dashboard page to look. Um, here I have um, income and expenses and it's not completely filled out. I have my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, debt tracker, spending tracker, and then business expenses. I do not keep the business expenses in my smaller planner because I don't have room for it. So this is the one thing I've done a pretty good job about keeping up here. And I had a lot of expenses this month because um, I bought a camera and um, some things for my Etsy shop and tripod and batteries and a whole host of things. And so we'll talk about that in just a second. So that is my um, bigger planner. Um, what you typically will see me doing my plan with me or my budget with me is here in my smaller petite planner. This one goes with me everywhere. And so for the month of July, um, for the most part, so um, we've done like two and a half weeks in July, and we've got about two weeks to go. Um, almost all of my bills are paid. The few things that I have left to pay this month are um, Dish Satellite, Amazon Prime, YouTube, and um, I probably am going to owe something to um, HP Instant Ink because I bought a new printer a few months ago. They're giving me, I don't know, free through like September or October. I don't remember which one. But I went over the 300 pages. I was printing a lot of stickers for the shop. And so that caused me to go over what I get for free. So I do have to pay. I think it's like a dollar for every 15 pages that I went over. And I haven't seen a bill yet. So I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be. Probably less than 10 bucks though. Um, so there's that. Um, I've completed my savings already for the month and I actually um, saved more than what I intended 
to or plan to, and I'll talk about that in just a second. And then here's my goals down the side here. So this is like just my month at a glance. Um, so in the back, and just FYI, this is one of the sticker kits that I offer at Studio Blisco. So this is the petite size sticker kit that includes the bill due stickers and the monthly overview. And then, um, all of the different categories here in the back. So um, income is still coming in. I'm paid once a month. I'm a government worker. And so my primary income comes in on the first of the month. Then we have um, what I allocated for cash envelopes and what I had planned for for my sinking funds slash savings. And um, I'm still working on, I'm a work in progress, y'all, writing down um, my debt tracker. I just really need to work on that. And then I have been doing a good job this month of writing down where I've been spending money for the most part. Everything is not written down there. I only am using four pages back here in the back of this because this is an 18 month planner and um, using four, I think I will make it all the way through 18 months. I might run out the last month. And so that's why I don't keep those budget expenses or those business expenses in here. And then this is, um, what I'm planning to use for August. So I had wanted to try out the paper and lay it down. So, um, I did put the August kit down. So if you're interested in the lemon, which is kind of hard to see, but that is a lemon, um, theme. Um, that is the August kit. So a little bit off track, sorry. In any case, um, let's talk about sinking funds um, and savings. And actually, before we do that, let's talk about cash envelopes. So for um, the month of July, I allocated $200 for groceries and I have a total of $97 remaining. And so again, there's only about two weeks left in the month. And so that should be sufficient for me to um, get through the next two weeks. So that's my groceries. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll have something left over. For pets, I um, carried over $10 and then I added $10. And so I have $6 left. I purchased um, dog food. So I have $6 left in the pet category. Of course, that $5 bill is going to come out and go into my $5 savings. And we'll do that at the end of the month. Clothing, I rolled over 20. And so I have $40 left in my cash envelope for clothing. I am looking for a pair of pants for work. So I've been carrying that around with me, but I haven't found a pair I like yet. For beauty, I rolled over 10. So I have a total of 20 in my beauty envelope. And the only thing I really want right now is an eyeshadow palette that I don't need, but it's like $40. So that continues to sit there. For fun, I rolled over uh, $20. And so I have... Um, $30 in my fun envelope. You know, all fun is canceled because of coronavirus. So we are here. Um, we'll talk about my Christmas envelope last. For gas, um, I did not roll over anything. I put $100 um, into my gas envelope and I have um, $40 left for gas for the next two weeks and that should be sufficient as well. For household, um, I did not roll over anything. I placed 50 in my household envelope and I have 27 um, left. For me, household also does include toiletries. For dining out, I upped it. Um, last month it was 50. This month I um, gave myself 70 and I have $38 left in the dining out envelope. And then in my Christmas envelope, I had changed it to be my camera fund um, because I shared previously, for me, Christmas is not a major expense. I probably spend about $200, maybe three. Um, I'm purchasing a gift for like my mom and then the rest of it is spent on um, food because we do a really nice Christmas dinner and um, 
maybe little gifts for like the office white elephant party um, or some Christmas decorations or something like that or Christmas cards. It's not a major expense for me. Um, but I want to have that money set aside. So it doesn't take me very long to save it. Um, what I am doing is taking my $5 bills at the end of the month and placing them in here. Um, I had reallocated it to camera. Um, I did purchase a camera, it hasn't arrived yet. And so there was $100 in this um, envelope that I was going to pull out and put back into my bank account where I paid for um, the majority of the camera. I did put a portion of it on a credit card. Um, but I don't know if I wanna do that now. So I'm just, I've been carrying it around to take it to deposit it into my bank account and I'm just stuck. And I don't know why I'm stuck. I just need to work through it and figure out what exactly it is that I want to do. Um, I probably ultimately will deposit this $100 and then um, use it towards, um, not really replenishing my bank account, but I'll probably use it towards um, $100 towards the credit card that I um, put the rest of the camera on. So there's that. And then um, at the end of the month, I will add in fives from the rest of these envelopes to um, start my Christmas fund again. So there's that. Okay, so that's all of my cash envelopes um, for the mid-month check-in. Then um, I have my sinking funds slash savings. So I had planned to save 125 this month. It was going to be 25 into my emergency fund, 50 into my car fund. Um, whatever the fives end up being, I don't count that towards the overall goal, but the, that is calculated in the total at the end. Um, I plan to put 50 towards my home fund, which is really going towards finishing out my bedroom set dresser. So um, in conjunction with savings, let's talk about income. I had planned for an extra $2,000 in income this month, a thousand of it being Etsy sales, um, 500 of it, um, I expected a refund from Carnival Cruise Line, which I did receive, and um, 500 from like side hustle work. Okay, so I ended up getting, um, some additional money that I knew was coming, but I didn't think was coming as soon as it did. And then I also got money that I did not anticipate coming. And so um, this is also one of the reasons why I purchased the camera. So I actually saved the 125 that I had planned to save, plus I saved an additional, um, I saved an additional $625. And um, that was $450 I put in my emergency fund and $175 I put towards the home fund. That money was from the idle grant with the SBA. So I do have... Um, several small businesses that have been impacted by COVID. And so I did apply for the idle grant. I did not expect to get it because a lot of time had gone by and people were saying they were getting it in two and three days. So I had just given up hope and then it magically showed up. So um, I put that, the majority of that towards savings and towards my business, um, about 350, 375. Um, so that I can continue to sustain my businesses through this period of time until I can get back out there and um, continue to do them. So there was that. That was $1,000. Then I had some additional income that was a little over $1,000 come from working that I did not think I was going to get until August or September. And so that um, was also a portion of that I put towards my camera. Um, as well and the ex other accessories that I purchased with my camera so um, another thing that I did with that extra money that came in is I bought about 40 pounds of meat um, and put it in my freezer and so you know going to the grocery store I shouldn't need to bu buy meat unless it's something that you know special so I ended up with like six pounds of ground beef six pounds of chicken breast ten pounds of steak both ribeye in New York I think um, five pounds of party wings, five pounds of spare ribs, five pounds of pork chops, 
and two pounds of bacon. And so that's, um, I'm sharing a little bit of it with my mom, but for the most part, um, that should sustain me for a couple of months. And, um, you know, with the exception of like, if I want to buy some, some other type of meat that I didn't get, um, that should cut down on my grocery budget as well. Um, and so I did use that with the additional income that came in. That was about $150. Um, so I have more than exceeded the $2,000 I'd planned for in other income, but I do still have um, the goal to meet for the Etsy sales, and I'm about halfway there. So that is um, primarily where I am at um, with the budget this month so far. And then I will go back to, um, just to be, you know, kind of transparent because you guys help keep me accountable with my business expenses. Um, so I've spent a little over $100 on sticker paper. Um, I bought new mats and blades to cut the stickers. I purchased um, some new backdrops. So like what you see here, this is a backdrop in a marble. I purchased some additional ones. Um, I Because I purchased the camera, I wanted to get a new tripod. Um, what I use now is sort of like an arm. And so I don't know if the arm will work with the new camera or not, but I wanted a tripod that had like the horizontal arm. And so I purchased that and... Um, it came the other day and it is amazing. Um, so I'm just waiting for the camera at this point. I purchased um, a couple um, SD cards and readers. Uh, the SD card is like 128 um, and it will, it's 128 and you can use 4K with it. So that I needed, I know what comes with it. I don't think you can record in 4K. So I did that. Um, I purchased extra batteries for the camera. I purchased a light box, which I've already started taking pictures inside the light box, and they're phenomenal. They're so much better than the pictures that um, I've been taking. Um, I did a couple of orders with cloth and paper, and I have been um, hemming and hawing on cloth and paper orders because I just don't know what to get, and so many things are sold out. And so I purchased a couple of um, really inexpensive A5 agendas on Amazon, they were like less than $30 for two. And I've got like a tan colored one and a black one because I don't know if I want to use an A5 planner. And so I wasn't going to spend $100 for an A5 and not like it, but I can spend 15 and it might be okay. So I did that. So all of that stuff's going to be coming in um, upcoming videos. I definitely want to um, share with you all the new camera when it arrives and my paper um, cloth and paper order and how I'm setting up the A5 to see, you know, something new to try out. Um, I may transition into that out of my petite planner. I don't know. I'm just always liking to try new things and um, share with you my thoughts on them. And so um, I did that. I may keep using what I'm using because it works for me for now. So that's it for mid-month check-in. Um, this is what's working for me for my budget right now. And um, it. I mean, it is really working for me pretty well. I don't have it all set up the way I want it, but it is working um, really well. I have um, stayed on track. I have continued to use my cash envelopes. I am setting aside and saving money. I, I want to kind of say for the first time ever, not for the first time ever I've saved before, but I am leaving it alone for the first time um, ever and I am consistent and so it's just really working out nicely um, I'm able to go here check off you know yes this is paid and there is just this feeling of like calm I'm not worried about money I'm not worried about how am I going to pay that I have a plan and um, it's just a good space to be in next month my car registration is due and it's close to like $300, I think. I'm not even sure how much it is. What I do know is I have enough money in my car sinking funds to pay for it. And so it does not have to come out of my budget. And um, next month I will get my first check that is um, for my primary job that is a pay cut check. We have a pay cut of 10% for the next two years. Um, and so I feel some kind of way about that. So if my voice changed to annoyance and attitude that is why 
it's like, yeah, you're an essential worker. Thank you. Oh, and here's this 10% pay cut. So yeah, that there's that. Um, in any case, um, I don't know what my income is going to be. That's a whole nother topic. We'll talk about that next month. Um, so anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from it, um, share that with me down below in the comments as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your feedback. If you love my um, budget kits, they're available in the petite size and in a standard size seven by nine planner. It would size to fit either Erin Condren or Happy Planner or some sort of similar planner like Recollections, um, Maxi Life or other. So um, those are available in my shop, Studio Bliss Co., um, along with um, budget scripts and just everyday scripts. So check that out as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.